Hello, Asher Schwartz here. Today I'm going to show you how to mirror your Android phone onto a computer, laptop, desktop very, very easily. So I have, as you can see, it says LG. So that's what I have, an LG phone. And, um... So I have an LG phone. I don't have Samsung, so I can't get their side sync. So I went online and said how to do it, and this is what showed up. Moby Zen. Let me uh, look it up. Moby Zen search. Now it's completely 100% free. Very nice software, 100% free. Very nice. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is press the install button. Now you're going to open it. And this app can be moved to the SD card. It'll say additional installation required. You can click installation, it pops up with the uh, um, plugin, which I don't really want. So I'm never going to use it over Wi-Fi because I find it to be retarded. Because I want it. Because there's two um, ways to do it: through the app and through USB. Through um, Wi-Fi and through USB. And the way I have it set is through USB, so that there's no lag. Because over Wi-Fi, if you don't have a really fast connection to no end, your connection will be buggy. Now I'm clearing the data to show you what happens when you first start the app. So you find your app, you open it up, and it says launching the app. So you're going to accept the uh, terms and accept the other terms for privacy policies and terms and conditions. You click next. Um, you select your email address, then you input a connection password. And once you insert a connection password, it asks you if you want to install. Then it tells you, now you have the ability to connect your Android from your web browser directly from the Moisen desktop app. Um, we almost had access to your device through USB cable, Wi-Fi, or 4G, 3G LTE connection. Now what I'm going to show you is both the um, desktop app and the, fun, the uh, internet app. Um, screen mirroring control. Remember that when it shows that over here, this phone logo, it doesn't mean you can have your phone plugged in and you can have it on the side, your computer over here that's on the side, move your mouse onto the phone itself. It's on the computer like that. Now it tells you stream media streaming movies and photos from Android to your wherever what to wherever Moby Zen is. You have installed you have to install additional lift phone view Wi Fi login at Moby Zen or install the app on your computer and you click start Moby Zen. Click OK and then it'll tell you this feature this supports the recording screen function. Enable developer options from the settings. Um, enable USB but debugging. Install ADB from your Android manufacturer page. Please see below for details. So I'm going to tell you how to get into uh, debugging mode. You go down to about phone. You go into um, software information, double tap on the build number seven times, it'll pop up with developer options. It'll automatically be on, you have to use USB debugging before you plug the phone into the computer. And then, you open the phone back up, it shows this screen, you can name the phone whatever you want, your email address. You can record the Moby's end screen, and then there's a list of recordings. Now to get on to the computer side. Hello, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure the app is open. Once the app is open, plug your phone into the computer. Since I have Android 4.4.2, 
Um, I have media sync on, and that's the way USB debugging works for me. And make sure the app is open. USB debugging is enabled. You have to enable the one though when you're not plugged into the computer. Then what you're going to want to do is find Moby Zen wherever it is installed on your computer. Now once you find where Moby Zen is located on your computer, you open it up. Now heck. What happens when you open it up is it'll tell your email address and your password. You do, you'll, it'll ask you for your email address and password. You click remember email, then connect. Then you select your device for whatever you named it to. And then once you, um, it should connect. Now once it's connected, your phone will say, will make a noise and say that's connected. As it says right over there, Moby Zen is connected. So this is your phone. So there's a home menu and back button. This is an LG phone, so this is the LG skin. It's just not the correct LG skin for me because mine has like a physical back button on it, not a um, that type of button. <laughs> There's a power volume up, the volume down button, and then there's this, which is whatever you had open. Now there's also on the top, and remember this, well, that's the multitasking that doesn't really work. There's a settings, there's folder, write, take a video and take a picture. Now what you're, what you um can do is it's not buggy because you have a uh, you have the um, it plugged in through USB and so it's not that buggy so I can control it through my phone yada 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 not buggy at all and then let's say um, you wanted to take a picture or a um, go on to YouTube and search up um, let's just say um, funny video You can go like that, turn sideways. All oh, this morning, my mom cat didn't stand, but now it can. Ooh. You can do all that. You can also control it through the uh, computer. <laughs> yes, I am controlling it through the computer. You can tap and hold. You can clear all. Now, if you accidentally clear it, it won't um, show anything interesting. So, there are a few functions I'm going to show you, like right now, called record screen. I'm going to stop the recording. It's going to ask, it's going to save it right there. You can download it or you can play it. Um, then you can go back, you can take a screenshot. Now, I'm going to go into the general. Language English um, alerts for other things. Use cancel. Oh, um, oh, that's what I needed to do a while ago. Um, use now it says accessibilities in mobile Moby Zen. Just gonna click configure, and I don't know why it's popping up twice. Moby Zen, um, it's on. Um, observe your actions. Now I'm gonna go back out of it. It's gonna pop back up with what with the um that. You can go out of that. You can go back into that. You can go back into the settings. Um, 
<clears throat> you can go back out, you can go in there, you can do the tools, and then you can do drawing and everything, then you do skin settings. Choose skin, there should be a new one coming out for my phone soon. And then about Moby Zen and help. Now, that is the uh, first option of how to use Moby Zen. Now, the other option is by going to MobyZen.com. And once you get to Moby Zen, at your email address, and um, your password. This is what pops up once you uh, do that. So I'm going to control the com the phone through it again. Now, it's not connected through um. Yeah, it's not really too controllable yet when you do that unless you do all this stuff. Um, there's a PC plugin you can download because it connected through Wi-Fi, and then you just control it the normal way, and you can do your files and all everything, so you can view it all. And um, that's your Moby Zen through the web browser and it's available for free and it's a nice way of being able to browse your phone like let's say um, you wanted to watch a movie and you only you hadn't you didn't have a um you didn't have a uh, have a big screen TV you can plug it into or stream it to so you plug it into your computer and it works perfectly. So if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe on this video. And um, new videos coming soon.